Welcome back. Okay, here's a confession. I've been stuck on interior design TikTok for the last few weeks, and we came uh, across recently an American's top decor regrets. Right off the bat, I do not agree with some of them, but I brought Nicole DaCosta out today on the couch to chat all about it. Nicole, have you seen some of these interior design TikToks? Some of them, but like we were talking about, your home is for you. So we might like it, we might not, but who cares? We don't live with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was very surprised when I saw some of them that people are listing as like regretting I know. That, that they did them. So we'll, we'll go over some of these. Uh, people are regretting uh, wood paneled walls. About 39% of people I mean, like really regret that they did that. Yeah. TVs mounted above the fireplace. 40% of, pe of people wish they didn't make that move. Kay. TVs mounted above eye level. 43%. Kay. Conversation pits and recessed lights. 43% and shag carpeting 43%. Now, I, I'm blown away by some of these. I will say right off the bat, do not judge me because my TV is mounted higher than eye level. Yes, but you said that's how you sit, so you like yes, it. Yes, I always try to find a couch that sits kind of deeper because okay, I so want to sit watching, all you're the like, way back. Uh. So it doesn't really hurt my neck to look up and see my TV. And my dad has this obsession, shout out to my dad, with yes. big TVs. Yes. So whenever he gets a new one, he just passes his oh, old one down perfect. to me. So I'm like Super Bowl at your house. Enjoying <laughs> yeah, <laughs> reaping the benefits. Love you, Dad. That is so funny. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't like it above the fireplace, but so often these new homes, you yeah. know, they're not building a space for the TV. That's so true. You know? That is so, so true. Remember and in the nineties, it's like your TV goes here. It was very clear. And now yes. you're like have to mount it on walls, which was one of my regrets because yes. you ruin the whole wall. I um, know. Yeah. But yep. I think that that kind of almost goes into how obsessed Americans are right now with interior design. Yes. So nobody's thinking about where are we going to put this and that. It's just like, yes. make it pretty, make it something yes. that no one else has. Like the conversation pits. Oh, yeah. I want that in oh, a house see, when I need, buy. You need like an old, like um, cool, hip, modern. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm down for the it. The shag carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be opposed <laughs> to a shag carpet also. That is so Maybe funny. Maybe I'm just like out of style. But I feel, no, but I feel like it's kind of retro though. Everything comes back. I, I These regrets are very funny to me. They but are. But like paint colors, that's something you can switch easily. That's yes. one thing I've always re regretted. Ooh, let's do this wall, this color. And then like, you know, six months well, later, I, you're I like, feel like, uh, it's coming back uh, paper, wallpaper. Yes, I've seen that a lot more in yeah. powder baths and just, you know, just choose a wall, make it an accent. That, I think it's kind of fun, yeah. depending on what you choose. I know. Not and grandma. like you said, it's for you. Yes. I it, guess. It, <laughs> <laughs> Also, mine is like not even built into the house. It's like the knickknacks. You know what I mean? Mm. I'll be like, oh, I want to do this bookshelf. So cute. And then then it's cluttered and I want to take it all back. I know. What can you do? I, I just came across another TikTok video for, you know, people who are obsessed with interior design, but a little messy. Yes. And they, they're giving tips. I'll send it to you. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs>